Howdy YouTube, this is Rock, and on this edition of Heroes of the Storm, we're going to be playing Malfurion. Stick around to the end of the video to see if I can reach my goal of 60,000 healing. Peace. Okay, today we're going to be trying out Malfurion. Okay, so he is a ranged support person. Um, and he does have some damaging ability. Um, his Q ability is regrowth. So you put that on people and they're just going to heal over time. So you definitely want to be putting that pe on people as much as possible. His W ability is called Moonfire and you can see that it has this little circle on the ground. Um, that is the area of effect that you're going to be targeting. So if I can target this. You can see everybody within that area just took a little bit of damage there. His E ability is Entangling Roots. And I'm going to place that right there. See how many people I can catch. I got a couple people. They take a little bit of damage and they're stunned for how long? Eh, 1.5 seconds is how long it holds them in place. Um, his Trait ability, which is actually Actable. Uh, act you activate it to use it is called innervate and you use it on people to um, which I don't have anybody to use it on um, but you rebuild or you they get back mana faster um, so it's 20% of their maximum mana over five seconds um, so if you ever play Warcraft and you know the druids ability of innervate um, that's basically what it is and the heroic ability that we his first heroic ability is tranquility um, which is also if you've ever played warcraft with druids you've heard of tranquility and this heals damage per second to nearby allies for 10 seconds so as you see just everybody within that area is just going to be healed is channel it's channeled so any, anybody within that area is just going to be healed up. Um, let's uh, reset talents. And his second heroic ability is Twilight Dream. After a short delay, it deals a bunch of damage to a large area around you, silencing the enemies. So we'll give that one a try. So see. And then it silences them for three seconds. So those are his abilities. And we're going to queue up into a quick match and uh, see how we do today. Okay, so we got the Battlefield of Eternity today. And on the friendly side, obviously we have me as Malfurion. We have Lili, so we have two supports. Interesting. What well, three supports with Thrall? No, no, two supports. With me and Lili. Uh, we got Nova, Dahaka, and Thrall. Um, and then on the enemy side, they have the Butcher, Tracer, Kalthas, Lili, and Dahaka. I don't really like our makeup here. <laughs> they have so much more damage with the Butcher and Kalthas. Alright, anyway. So, the Battlefield of Eternity. What's going to happen at a certain point? These two big god people will spawn up in the center of the map. Um, what you have to do is you have to try to beat down the enemy side, um, the angel... And if you can beat the enemy side's angel before they beat yours, um, you will have an angel that will spawn either the top or bottom lane and help you push those lanes, the immortals. Um, so you have to help defeat your enemy's immortal. So, I don't know if, I don't know what's going on with these matchmaker things. We don't really seem to have a whole lot of damage on our side, so... Although we do have Nova, yeah, she could be pretty good, she could snipe Tracer pretty well. But they have Butcher and Kalthos, they, they're just going to put out a whole bunch of damage compared to us. 
well, we'll see how we go. We're going to try to stay positive and hopefully come out ahead. Really, the biggest key to this map is taking on the Immortals. Um, you have to dance a fine line between defending your Immortal and attacking theirs. Uh, that's really what you need to do. Um, but if you can get the Immortals, then you're definitely golden on this one. And there's only two lanes because the Immortals take up um, the whole center of the map. Uh, so you get a lot of uh, 3v, you know, three people or two people in a lane. So, Alright, let's do a little howdy all to everybody. Um, level 1 here. Uh, we're going to go with Moon Burn. Increases Moon Fire's damage to non-heroic units by 100%. Although with this one, um, there's really not going to be too much where I'm going to have to um, clear lanes too much. Because that's what Moon Burn is really for, is clearing lanes. Since uh, there's probably going to be one other, um, potentially two others on my side. So maybe I'll go with Harmony. Harmony, if uh, Moonfire hits a target, reduces the mana cost of regrowth by 10 or by 10 yeah yeah let's do harmony uh, first blood Did everybody just leave me? Oh, no, there's throw. Just keep dying, Tracer. Alright. So, well, as you just saw, you don't want to stand in the circles. If you stand in the circle, you're going to take some damage and get stunned. So you don't want that. Get out of the circles. Kalthos got me. Alright, so level 4. <laughs> Both of the healers are gone. Uh, level 4, we're going to go with Rampage Growth. Increases the initial healing of regrowth by 100%. Let them know I'm on my way. Attacking these guys. Oh. All 
Alright. So it's going north. I'm gonna go south here. Try to get a little XP. To me, mortals, I march for hell's gates. As nature will. Come up and help. Now that we are a whole level bracket ahead, I don't know why Tracer is diving in like that, but, anyways. Kill me. Oh, the living bomb did. We should really get mercs now. Well, we're doing a good job of fighting down these immortals. That's it. Keep it up. And level 10, we're going to go with Tranquility. We're going to come up here, clean these guys out.
Well, that was a good push for on, on our part. Overwhelm these mercenaries. Well done. I can't do anything for you there. So level 13, uh, we're going to go with... We're going to go with Life Seed. Is that what I want to do? No, I want to do full Moonfire. So it increases my... Increases my radius. Uh, I'm gonna come up here and help the immortal. I think we're gonna lose this one. The land and I are one. Honestly, what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to. I know we're gonna lose. I'm just trying to get as much damage off this guy as possible so that uh, we can. Uh, Oh, really? Are we not going to lose? We can get rid of his shields. Really? Did we just win that? No way. No way. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> I can't believe we won that exchange. The land and I are one. The heavens shall triumph this day.
So level 16. So level 16, what do we want to do? I, I like the slowing ability, so I'm going to do Hindering Moon Fire. Really? What the hell happened? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't even know what, I didn't even really see what saw kill me. But oh well. Repent before my wrath, demon. We can do this. They have so much damage. That turned ugly pretty quickly. <laughs> Are we going to hold it?
Well, that was quite a fight. We were doing really good there too. We we got that one. Defeat. <laughs> we got that one immortal, and that's what won it. We were doing so good there too. I don't know what happened. Well, there we go. Uh, I did. I healed a bunch of damage. That was pretty good. I like. I didn't mind that. Not as much as Lily, but. So the talent build I went with today is uh, Harmony, uh, Rampage Growth, Enduring Growth, Tranquility, uh, Full Moonfire, Hindering Moonfire. And at level 20, I would have went with Storm Shield. Um, but I didn't actually pick it yet. And that wraps up another video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment below for any heroes you'd like to see or builds you want me to try out. I read them all. If you want to know when my new content comes out, subscribe and stalk me on social media. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the Nexus.